what were you <laughs> like as a kid? The I little was ner- I was a nerd. I was a nerd, and I wasn't picked last in gym class, but I was usually picked second, which made me feel better. I wasn't that kid that was over there. But yeah, I was a nerd, and yeah, just I usually just kept to myself, actually, and was not very... I mean, I had friends, but I wasn't you know, part of any cliques or anything like that. Do you have any kids of your own? No kids. Thank no God. kids. I can't, I can't. I can't with kids. I figured that out. I can't. I don't have the patience. And again, I can't support the, the gambling lifestyle, I don't think, without children. And I love the freedom of just, I'm going to Atlantic City this weekend. I'm going to Reno and Vegas for a week, you know. And, but Timmy, I'm just going to put this out there. All my kids are grown. Well, if you ever want to practice making kids, I'm sure Slot Sister would volunteer. I'm, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that alone. I'm leaving <laughs> well, that alone. Hey. We're keeping this a professional chat. <laughs> what got you started? Blue Collar Slots wants to know what got you started on uh, YouTube. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, uh, back in yeah, like 2013. So I had some friends at the time who actually were doing sl- a slot channel. They were some of the original slot channels way back in 2013. And he was making money on YouTube for doing, you know, filming slot bonuses. And... I'm like, and at the time I kind of dabbled with lottery tickets and I'm like, I wonder if I could, you know, record lottery tickets when people watch that, I could make money and I want not have security over my back and tell me, Hey, you can't do this, you know? And so that's kind of what I did. And, um, again, it was a slow start, but I mean, I just didn't necessarily do it for money, but I guess I technically did do it for money at the time, thinking, look, what could happen and see how it went. And at the time, there was actually just a couple other people out there who did the same thing. So, you know, we were really, you know, and, and it took time, but people eventually grabbed onto the concept, just kind of just like slot bonuses and slot channels. Um, yeah. um, and now today we've got some big, especially Texas, Texas has a ton of, because Texas is a big state, but, you know, there's a lot of big channels down there but so penny which do you prefer slots skills scratchers because skills and slots are those two different things Mm, they're basically a slot machine but kind of like who people do don't know like so they come out with these devices and they get a they're they're pretty much getting away they're not they're not considered gambling devices because the skill is, if you watch, it's like playing tic-tac-toe. So um, it's, but you can cash out for real money. I mean, if you watch my channel, we've done very good. I've done, I play for a lot of my other viewers and we've done very good, lots of big jackpots and it's tax free because it's underneath the radar. But the state of Pennsylvania is starting to crack down on that and they're going to start taxing them, I think. But as far as what do I like the best, I would still probably say slots simply in a, in a casino slots. Like um, I think when I was on Simon's channel, I had done, uh, we talked about like, cause like we have online gaming as well. And online gaming is not, it's weird. Losing in the comfort of your own home and even winning in the comfort of your own home <laughs> is weird in a casino where they're plastering me with drinks. You just got the whole environment. I love that. And kind of like ambiance. Yeah, the ambiance and like people always like they're like, do you ever go on a vacation that doesn't involve a casino? No, because I like gambling and I like drinking. And when you do the combo of the both, usually you get free rooms. It's a cheap vacation, and you get to do both. So, yeah, it's like it's like you kind of like mind your own business and like. What is Thanksgiving gonna be like for you? Vegas, Vegas. I'm gonna be in Vegas and. For years now, I've been meeting up with um, Diana Avani, a lot of you know her slot channel. Um, she invited me probably about, we were talking about this last night because I went to dinner last night because you know, she lives in Reno now. And I think it's been almost six to seven years ago when I started coming. She invited me. She's got a whole group of friends that meet up and I got, she invited me. And so I started coming and yeah, so we're going for, this year we're going to the Blue Ribbon at the Cosmopolitan for Thanksgiving dinner, which I'm probably going to get fried chicken. I've never actually been there before and I heard it's really good. So. So back to your skills machines, how do you capture the audience? You know, wait, let's not even talk about the skills, just you yourself. I sat there and watched you shop 
for like an, an entire hour. I don't even like shopping. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. And that was something that I started. And it's, a, it's a thing. And then you get to guess how much my balance is at the end. And people love that shit. So, yeah. And I mean, even the people, the workers in the store pretty much knew who I am, know what I do. And they're, you know, sometimes I have some of them standing off the side and they're guessing what the total is. And I don't, and that's not even that exciting. Like some of the shit that I've done just like, you know, is, and I kind of, um, you know, I like to do, I like to definitely do other things. Like I say, I've created a community of people, like my groups of people. And so, and we pretty much figured out they'll watch me do anything. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't always have to be about gambling. So like I say, we do other things, you know, like if you watch during the week, I mean, most of them are, you know, like I'm doing like giveaways and stuff. Like I'm giving away lottery tickets and stuff, but it's not, you know, it's not all gambling at the time. It's just spinning the wheel and, you know, you might get a chance to win and it kind of encourages people to, you know, to participate. And I like talking to people and, Channels are hard. It is you all know out there. Sorry, it's hard. It's not easy. So, but you know, and I also have another channel as well, which I created just as a satire kind of thing. If you look it up, it's the Lotto King LLC or something. If you look it up, it's like a satire page where I've created all. It's me, obviously, but I've created all these characters. Like I have Karen. She's my manager who works for me, and I I made up like these fake lives for these people. It's still got like 30 subscribers, but I get off on it because like some of the shit it's just, but I use that little app where um, it like makes, I can put any picture in and it makes a mouth move and stuff. And as the coupon king, what's the most money you've saved? Um, like I'm kind of ghetto this year, but like on a yearly basis, like it'll give you the tally at CBS. Like the one year I think I saved like $3,000. Like this year I'm only at like 800 because wow. with, especially lately with like the shortages and stuff like the store had like nothing that i could get you know and the deals weren't that good because they don't need to put things on sale you know but yeah like i don't pay for toothpaste body wash stuff like that because i get it all the time for dirt cheap so you know where were you born and raised Ooh, i didn't get far um yes i was born in, in pennsylvania again i live in central pennsylvania um and I live now about three miles from my childhood home. I lived out in the country and I moved into the big city, you know, my little town of 7,000 people. But yeah, nope, yeah, I didn't get far. So I, I heard you last night. You have a daily budget for what you gamble. What What is that? What is that budget? I do. And I'm a low roller. So for this trip, usually when I go, I think my budget, it's about it's only like three hundred dollars. I have my envelope, okay. uh, three hundred dollars, and again, I'm gambling for six days. So I mean, it's it's about eighteen hundred, two thousand. And well, it's actually yesterday started out. Now it's a plan. Like yesterday, at one point, I already took a loan from today's money because things just didn't go well, you know. But then actually, when we we went to the pepper mill, and I was playing Buffalo. 10, 10 credits, and I actually won a $240 line hit, and then so boom, so now I repaid myself back, so I'm back on track now, which sometimes it goes well, sometimes I get to Vegas and I'm broke and I'm at the ATM, but, you know, but I like to consider myself a responsible gambler, so it was just good, you know, you gotta play within your means, and, you know, but I can, I can have a good time on, again, I always tell the story, it was my 27th birthday, I flew to Vegas for a couple of days, and I... I was broke. I had my budget was forty dollars a day. Wow. A day. Um, and I was staying at Treasure Island, and I sat in the corner and played seven cent wicked winnings, and they kept plastering the drinks on me. I never had such a great time ever, and I mean, it was wow. so. But you get some drinks, and you 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 basically make the best of what you got. I'll just say that to you. Know, I don't want to. Do you do you go on to any other platforms? I I love that the other channel that we show, but do you do TikTok or um, no, Instagram? No, I've I've never gone to TikTok or Instagram. I don't. As I tell people, I'm becoming an old man now. But like, I do Facebook. I'm a MySpace guy because I grew up with MySpace, yes. MySpace and Facebook, MySpace, Facebook, and YouTube. These TikToks. I mean, my dad's 63 and he's he's got a freaking TikTok, you know, but 
it's like, it's like I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm an TikTok. old man these days, 30, 37, Tick- so. TikTok is a time killer. You could be on there forever. I mean, they're short videos, but you're scrolling oh, yeah. through them. Oh, my God. I look up and three hours have gone by. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, and you guys have a great day. And peace. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. Thank you. You as well. And we'll be following all of those live streams. Sounds good. Have a great day, guys. Have a good I'll one, see everybody. You later. Bye. Bye.